Welcome back to Juicy Java. We're here to talk about the International, International Youth Scholars um, and just uh, how the program started and just a general sense of what the program is. Um, we have here Candice Spada. Yes. And we also have Tal uh, Talia Roth. Mm -hmm. And also, um, so can you just tell us what you do with the International Youth Scholars? Well, at um, IYS, every Saturday morning, we go down to Martin Luther King Elementary and we work with the Somali Bantu um, high school student population and each of us, each mentor is partnered with a mentee, a student, and we work on their homework, we work on like different literacy activities and um, we do different kind of listening activities. There's all different sorts of things that we do and we're also looking at doing um, like career things with them, mm -hmm. kind of looking ahead to college and stuff like that, just different programming like that. Okay, and what about you Candice? Um, I mentor on Saturday mornings as well with Talia. Um, there's a group of us that we mentor the Somalian Bantu students, um, but International Young Scholars, we also offer the program on several different days of the week, Wednesday nights being one of them, and Thursday nights, and as well as Mondays. So there's lots of opportunities to get involved. Okay, and with the International Youth Scholars, do you, what, what age group do you usually work with? We usually work with middle school students and high school students as well. Um, I personally mentor a student who's in eighth grade, mm. um, but there's students ranging from fifth grade to all the way up to twelfth grade. Mm. Yeah, my um, mentee is in tenth grade, and um, but there's all different ages. Like on Thursday night, it's specifically math that they tutor, and on Wednesday, it used to be specifically girls, but they've opened it up, but it's still like mainly girls. Oh, so is there a certain group of, um, like, do you work with just all girls or all boys, or is it just a mix of? No, it's just mixed, because um, Saturday is entirely, like, one-on-one, -on -one. so um, if someone new comes, they'll have find a new person for them, but otherwise you just kind of get there, meet up with your student, and start working with them one-on-one, -on -one unless there's, like, a group activity. Mm -hmm. And can you talk a little bit about the one-on-one? -on -one? Is it, do you, are you certainly, you're assigned to one um, student and you just work with them? Um, it, that's the really nice uh, part of the program that you work with a student one-on-one -on -one, so you really get to know the student week after week and you get to build a relationship with them and they get comfortable with you and you get comfortable with them and it's really nice you get to really learn about them and they and they feel important and it's really it's really a nice feeling. And in doing that do you feel as though it makes you want to come back and do you know work for International Youth Scholars again because you build that personal relationship and that you know you can see the impact that you're making on the um, students? Yes, of course. Um, just going, I've only been here one year, but from going from last semester to this semester, the students remember you. They look forward to you coming week after week, and they really do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And is there an issue, because you deal with Somalian uh, students in any other particular group? Uh, no, it's just the Somali Bantu population, but it's a very large population. So is there a struggle with um, the language and just yeah. speaking with them? Well, I mean, honestly, at first, it's kind of difficult to understand how you can be, like, sitting next to this, like, student who's in high school and they just do not know any English. And it's just, like, I mean, obviously, it's easy to understand when you realize their background, but, like, it's just difficult sometimes to grasp, like, you can go into an elementary school, like I work in elementary schools here too, and like teach someone further English, but you're kind of having to start at the beginning with some of these students, and that's just like a really difficult thing to overcome, I guess, and just kind of understand. Okay, and lastly, can you just tell us a little bit about what kind of an impact do you think you, you as mentors are making to those scholars um, for their future you know, endeavors, probably going to college? We definitely get these students involved in school and their scholastic studies and I think that we do make an, a big impact in the way that they view their schooling and what they want because they aspire to us. We, they know that we go to college at Syracuse and they aspire to really go to college and be, you know, students like us. Mm -hmm. And you? Yeah, honestly, like I talk with my mentee, he's in 10th grade now, about college like all the time and he um, talks to me about how he's had trouble getting jobs and stuff and he reads like the Daily Orange every day, like <laughs> he loves SU and um, so he really wants to go to college and he's excited about it and I think that IYS has been like a large factor in that. Well, thank you both for joining us, both Candace and Talia, we really appreciate it. Coming up on Juice and Java, we're going to show you what students are doing to stay fit for spring break.